Okay, so that's not enough. You can check your page 33 to learn for more information about it. As you know, opposites are uh, things which are completely different from each other uh, and do not share the similar qualities like up and down, left and right, happy and sad. The logic is the same for the Turkish. Okay, so I give you some examples here for you to find the opposites. Please stop the record right now and try to solve it. Just take it, take some paper and find the answers. Tamam mı? And check the other page to get the answers. Yeah. Okay, congratulations, guys. Uh, I hope that you are all doing great. If you have any vocabulary problem, I give you my email address at the end of the slide. So please do not hesitate me to send a message so I can give the answers for you and I can answer your question in a proper way. Or you can use Google Dictionary if you just need only vocabulary stuff. I'm going to read the answers for you so you are going to hear how it sounds and how you are going to pronounce it right. Yavaş hızlı, pahalı, ucuz, güçlü, güçsüz, dar, bol, güzel, çirkin, iyi, kötü, çalışkan, tembel, korkak, cesur, mutlu, mutsuz, düzenli, dağınık, kibar, kaba, genç, yaşlı, kolay, zor, zengin, Fakir, dolu, boş, önemli, önemsiz, konuşkan, sakin, dikkatli, dikkatsiz, yakın, uzak. Anlaştık mı? Süper. Kendimizi tanıtalım. Introduction ourselves. Okay. So we are going to use this opposite words to define yourself, to introduce yourself. Deal? For example, like I am tall. Which means ben uzunum. Tamam. Ben uzunum. Ben çalışkanım. Ben sakin. Dık 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 dık. Ben sessiz. Dık dık dık. Ben zengin. Dık 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 dık. Tamam. As I told you before, remember nominal sentences. You got half of the Turkish with nominal sentences and which is you are going to exactly use here. Try it and please stop recording. Here you go. Minute 3 And ne yapıyorsun? You can check your page 38 here Please just follow the pictures over here And try to understand what are doing right there What are they doing right here? Tamam? I'm going to read for you To uh, understand the pronunciation And if you have some vocabulary problems You already know how to use present continuous tense And you know the verbs you know the word, tamam? Just try to solve it. If you have still some questions, again I'm saying do not hesitate to email me. Tamam. Kalkıyorum, uyuyorum, okula gidiyorum, çalışıyorum, ders çalışıyorum, kahvaltı ediyorum, yemek yiyorum, kitap okuyorum, telefonda konuşuyorum, yemek pişiriyorum, otobüse biniyorum, işe gidiyorum. Banyo yapıyorum, televizyon izliyorum ve bilgisayar kullanıyorum. Tamam, anlaştık. Please be careful about these uh, pictures. You may see some of them in your own exam. Just saying, there is no cheating here. <laughs> okay. Tamam. Okay. Let's read it and answer it. If you can, if you want, uh, you can stop the record over here. Um, if I were you, I would just wait until I finish the reading the text and I will read it by myself and I'll try to answer the questions again. I'm reading it. Merhaba, ben Pınar. Ben ev hanımıyım. Benim iki çocuğum var. Sabahları çok erken kalkıyorum. Eşime ve çocuklarıma kahvaltı hazırlıyorum. Sonra eşim işe, çocuklarım okula gidiyor. Ben... Evi temizliyorum ve yemek pişiriyorum. Öğlen arkadaşlarımla alışverişe gidiyoruz. Dışarıda kahve içiyoruz. Akşam eşim ve çocuklarım eve dönüyor. 
beraber yemek yiyoruz. Çocuklarım akşam erken yatıyorlar. Ben ve eşim film izliyoruz, sohbet ediyoruz. The question one, kadının adı Gülay mı? The question two, Pınar'ın kaç çocuğu var? And the question three, Pınar yemek pişiriyor mu? Okay, stop it and try to solve it please. Thank you guys. The answers are, hayır, kadının adı Pınar. Pınar'ın iki çocuğu var. Evet, Pınar yemek yapıyor. Let's continue. Şimdiki zaman, present continuous tense in English. Okay. This form is used to tell an action which began in the past and is still continuing at the moment of speaking. Tamam. This form is sometimes used to express an action which will take place in the near future. Hmm. This form is sometimes used instead of simple present tense. Okay, you are going to use the first thing over here and the next the, and the next sentences with time. But first, please be careful. This action is beginning in the past and it is still continue. Tamam. How we are going to solve? Şimdiki zaman. It's not a big deal. Every verb, imagine English, every verb has two before it. Like to run, to swim, uh, to sleep, to eat. Okay. But before we conjugate the verbs, we are simply sometimes getting rid of from to, right? So here, make is to. Tamam? Like to come, get, make. Make and to, they are the same. The same logic. Okay, you are going to get your from to, which is make here. Gel make. Gel. Whoop. Bye bye make. Tamam? So, you are going to add iyor. Gel. Iyor. Kal. Iyor. Ok. Uyor. Yür. Uyor. You only have i, ı, u, and ü. Tamam? So, how you are going to decide what you are going to do? Hmm. How you are going to decide it? If you remember the normal sentences, there was like brothers and sisters, right? The logic is the same. This is why I told you if you just handle with the normal sentences, you are going to handle everything. Tamam? It's gel. After e, it's i. After a, it's ı. After o, it's u. After ü, it's ı. I know you feel some kind of confused and you need, yeah, you think that it's okay, teacher, I didn't get it. I feel so confused. Oh my God, it's so hard. No, it's not so hard. I'm going to give you a golden rule that you must follow. Tamam. I put a little note here. Oh, pardon. So you can see it pretty well. The next page. The golden rule. Okay, here we go. If a word ends with a or a, you follow a. Kal iyor. Tamam. If a word ends with a or e, guys, this is a, by the way, this is e. I know that you're having hard times to say that, okay, this is not a, this is e, this is not e, this is i, no, it's not an i, it's not an e. In Turkish, this is e, this is e. Tamam mı? I can hear you, honey. I can hear you. Tamam. So, here we go. Ends with e or e, you follow e. Gel, 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 iyo. Tamam. It's not funny, guys. Don't laugh. If a word ends with o or u, so you follow u, not you. It's u. Tamam. Koş uyuş. Tamam mı? If a word ends with ö or u, you follow u. Deal. Guys, I put a blank here or I use some plus. <laughs> not write that with the plus you done i just put it this things or i give the spaces to show you how i'm conjugating the verbs so if you are ready this page try it at one of this your 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 or your tamam there's a here and answers do not look at it and try to solve it by yourself okay as you notice the the other page like here okay Oku ends with u. So, what if it ends with a vowel? I didn't tell you, right? Okay, here I am. So, if ends with a or e, 
skill which generally ends with R and E by the way. So you are getting rid of from R's and E's. As I told you before, they are brothers here, R and E, U, and they are sisters here, A, E, U. Tamam. So you get rid of from A, instead of that you put E, R, E, YOR. Tamam. Oyna, YOR. Bekle, YOR. Özle, YOR. Mm -mm. Arıyor. Oynuyor. Bekliyor. Özlüyor. It sounds more right, huh? Isn't it? Diye. You can check this table the other time. I'm continuing. The final review. How you are going to conjugate the present continuous tense, which is called as şimdiki zaman in Turkish. You are all responsible from the positive sentences. Do not worry. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. The things are easier for you. So, ben geliyorum, sen geliyorsun, o geliyor, biz geliyoruz, siz geliyorsunuz, onlar geliyorlar ya da onlar geliyor. Okay, teacher, why we are not using var if just follow onlar? Guys, in Turkish, if you say onlar geliyorlar, uh, it's not natural, it's not native. We have already var in with onlar. Tamam You don't need to add lar after that. If you say onlar geliyor, it's so native, it's so pure. But if you don't, if you are not going to say onlar, such as geliyorlar, so you need lar. Because you didn't use onlar. You got the logic, such as like this. Onlar geliyor, okay. Onlar geliyorlar, mm -mm. Geliyorlar is okay. Geliyor, mm, okay, who is coming? He, she, it, or... I never think about the uh, onlar, okay? I never think about the plural stuff. So, if you are just going to use the verb itself by all alone, so you need to add lar. But if you are going to use onlar, you don't need to use lar because you already said onlar. Lar is plural as you know. Okay, final review. Let's use present continuous tense here. I'm going to solve one of you. Ben gelmek. So, uh, you can solve the other stuff by yourself and you can find the answer at the next page. Ben gelmek. What we are going to do here? As I told you before, you are just getting rid of from mek. Tamam mı? Ben gelmek. So, okay. I need to use your, 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 your. So, ben geliyorum. You are going to use e. Uh, in English, it's going to be I. Tamam <laughs> mı? Not a normal A. It's not. It's going to be E. Tamam. Sen oku, oku, get rid of from Mac and try to find the right answer. I'm giving you time. Stop your record. Okay, here you go, guys. Congratulations. I'm going to pronounce it for you so you can understand it uh, better. Ben geliyorum. Sen okuyorsun. O oturuyor. Now add here. Biz geliyoruz. Siz yürüyorsunuz. Onlar seviyorlar. Okay teacher, why did you add lar, lar over here? You said that onlar and used lar. Uh, it was plural. It was I think I just added. Okay, I'm giving the answer. I added to show you how we are going to conjugate it. You don't need to use lar over here because you already used onlar. Onlar seviyor is pretty enough. Done. Okay, dear students, do not worry, you got this very well. You are only responsible from uh, present continuous tenses, positive forms, and the others as well. Do not forget to solve the questions that I gave to you. These are pretty similar to your midterm maximum questions. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to write with me via email. I give you email over here, so you can send me any vacation. And please do not forget, this is not a vacation, this is a precaution. So please do not stay in the crowded, uh, wash your hands frequently, and stay healthy and safe. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. Bye-bye.